John from J.O. Ventures Outdoors, and today I have another video for you. Um, if you remember last week, I showed some a bead that I had ordered from uh, RDS Acrylics and Wood Turning. Uh, Bobby, there's his card right there. Makes awesome pins and beads and cups and other products like that. And uh, last week I had uh, showed you the bead I got, the J.O. Ventures bead. Got this on the slip here. And this week I've got the pin. The pin has arrived. So I wanted to show you that, first of all. But first, before I show you the pin, he threw in a little something extra. He threw in a Knife Brotherhood bead. But that was awful nice of him. And he had uh, told me that ahead of time. Uh, so when I sent my package back to him, I put a little something in it for him. So hopefully, Bobby, you like that when you get it. He just does fantastic work, and here's the pen. Um, and I'll have to say, when I opened this up, I was blown away. Um, just blown away. And I've had a pen made for me before. Uh, Walter made a pen uh, for Mrs. J.O. Ventures which was absolutely beautiful. Um, and uh, this one is just, is just awesome as well. Um, and there's my logo, J.O. Ventures Outdoors. Beautiful wood grain. This is the cigar-shaped pen. And it's incredibly comfortable in the hand. And it writes um, very well. So, um, uh, Bobby, I just really appreciate this. I really appreciate this. And uh, so there's his card once again. Um, and I think he's going to, he said he's going to send me something else. So that'll be really cool too. I can't wait to see that. Um, but that was the first mail call. And I'll have to figure out which knife or slip I'm going to put this on. But that is just awesome. The Knife Brotherhood. That was formed uh, by Georgia Adventurer. The logo was created by him. It was his idea. We all support it. The Knife Brotherhood. So thank you so much, RDS with Turning in Acrylics. He is just fantastic. He's been so kind to work with. So it's so interesting that you meet so many different friends and through leatherworking, I've met, you know, lots of new friends. And I've met a new, a new friend here recently. I've been doing some work for him. His name's Edward. And Edward is the one that asked me to redo the side draw sheath that his buddy, uh, his good friend who passed away, had made for him and given to him as a gift. The sheath didn't fit him correctly. So I restitched re it, recut the um, belt loop, and um, he was very happy with that, of course. He said, Well, I got a couple other things I want you to make. Now, I don't have the items here. Um, and, but I'll show some pictures. So maybe I'll put a picture up here right now in this video and I'll have a slideshow at the end and maybe even a little bit of video, a little bit of, um, a recording, a video coverage that I had taken for him. Um, but, uh, there were two projects. One was a holster for a flashlight. I don't remember what the flashlight was. All I know is that I used this piece of PVC pipe <laughs> to make it. And uh, I've never made a flashlight holster before or sheath. And so uh, it was a new challenge for me. Um, so I made that for him. He got it. I also made a uh, sheath for a tin. And again, it'll be in the pictures that I put up in this video. Um, and it's a survival tin. So a really cool idea. And uh, I'll show you the pictures of that in this video, but um, made him uh, that sheath for that survival tin. Well, I always tell everyone that I do projects for that, hey, if it doesn't work for you, you let me know. And um, Edward, you know, contacted me and said, hey, the, the, belt, the belt loop on the flashlight holder needs to go down just a little bit. Is there any way you could fix it? And yeah, I don't, he's sending it back to me, so I'll show you what I plan to try. But, you know, it's hard to take an item like that apart. 
Um, for example, I'm working on a sheath right now for a gentleman. You know who you are. Uh, this is actually for a, so we're getting into the, we're still into the leather projects here. Um, it's for a Russell Green River. Um, isn't that a beautiful knife? So I'm making a sheath for it. And, um, you know, once you glue this and stitch it, um, I stitch my items to um, never come apart. So it'll be interesting to see if I can get um, the belt loop apart and try to repair it. Maybe I'll bring it in on you and use that as a video. Um, that might be interesting. I may have to completely redo that sheath. And I've told him that, and, and he's okay with me repairing it, moving it. And um, so, you know, we've been discussing it. Been very cool about it. And, and uh, you know, I want that, I want it to work for you if I make something for you. So um, you shouldn't feel bad or, or hesitate to, to let me know that. So he'd be sending that back to me. That's okay. But I have another project for him. Um, I'm going to make a sheath for this. This is a small Altoids tin, and he puts some survival items in this. We see people do this all the time. I actually have one I carry every day. And he got this um, cheaper version of a sheath, you know, on Timu or somewhere. So I, I'm using this as a guide. Uh, this is really too big. This is too big. It doesn't hold it tight enough, but we still want it to be able to come in and out of there. This has a magnet closure as well, and they sell these for leather. So I'm planning, I think, to put a magnet closure on it and then a belt loop on the back. But this is my guide. This will be my project, along with repairing or fixing the flashlight sheath that I just made for him so it fits his, his belt and his situation a little better. And that's quite all right. But this was, I said, you know, of course, people say, well, you know, what do you charge for that or whatever? And he asked that. And I said, well, how about a trade, you know? And because I like doing trades every once in a while. And he, you know, threw up a couple of ideas. And boy, oh boy, I really like them. I really like them. I'm going to wait and show you the, the uh, <laughs> really great one here at the end. But the first one was the i3T EOS. Now, Edward is a Olight flashlight collector and uh, amazing collection. He showed me some pictures and I think that's really cool. I've been after one of these for a long time and um, you know it's 180 lumens and then five lumens. So there's five, 180 and it runs on a triple A, I think it's triple A, yeah, triple A um, battery. So the i3T Two EO, e, EOS, hard for me to say. Also in this trade for the two sheaths, um, actually three sheaths um, that I'll be making him, uh, is the IR2 e, EOS. So I have a couple of those, and uh, but it's nice to have another one. Um, use it as gifts or just as a spare. So... Very nice to have that. Thank you, Edward. Thank you for both of these. Uh, the next item was a knife. And when he described it, I was like, yeah, you know, I like, it's an elk ridge. If you don't uh, recognize that, there's the elk there um, on the uh, emblem. And it's a trapper, an elk ridge trapper. Now, these are inexpensive knives. And um, actually, our local uh, farm store sells these. Um, I'm trying to think, Rule King sells some of these. And I just love the bone covers on this. I think it's just awesome. I'm sure they're, they might be imitation, I'm not sure. Um, but really, nice snap. It needs to be cleaned. I haven't gotten to this one yet. And um, so I have. A little bit of an idea for what I'm going to do with this knife. And he actually, Edward, it was his idea and I love it. Um, so this knife might actually be doing some traveling, if you know what I mean. So I'll come back and, and let you know the details of when this travels to other channels. Um, but the item that we first talked about that I'm just really stoked about is this Boker. Um, Boker 
uh, old stag uh, congress and if i can remember which blade has the yeah there we go uh, there's the numbers on that side 70113 and there's the tang stamp boker usa i have another boker german made congress that's in blue bone that terrell snyder gave me um and i loved it so when i saw this one i really thought it'd be cool to have another one this is an older one this is a 1945 i think to 83 tang stamp i don't know when they made these i don't know much about this one i did do a little initial cleaning on it um uh, it was pretty you know pretty well used which is fine i enjoy cleaning knives up um, so I did some polishing on the blades, and I did some cleaning on it, and took the toothbrush and the Dawn and hot water to it. So you'll be seeing more of this one, I'm sure. Um, but look at those covers. Aren't those just awesome? And look at that. I don't see any gaps. Brass liners there. It's a four-blade Congress. There you go. Got pretty good snap. It needs to be cleaned again and then oiled. So that's what I plan to do after I'm done with this video. But Edward, you really set me up. Thank you very much, my friend. Um, very good trade. Um, uh, interesting projects. Uh, RDS wood turning. You knocked it out of the park there. Um, I just really, really appreciate that. Appreciate the bead. Um, so RDS wood turning and acrylics. You really don't. You need to go get something from him. You'll you will not you will not be disappointed. And that first bead in this pin I paid for. So um, you know these weren't gifts. This was a gift. Um, and uh, so you no, know, I paid for them. I, I think the quality is just awesome, and I wanted one. So um, there you go. So there's my mail calls. There's my leather projects i'll bring you back when i get this one finished up i just finished sewing the uh, belt loop tonight and i'm gluing this area right here the main stitch area uh, for the blade i had to do something interesting here i had to actually put an extra piece of leather to make this welt bigger uh, than normal because the handle is bigger and it needed room for the handle. I'll tell you more about that when I show you the project at the end. But really appreciate you watching. Thank you all. Thank you, Edward. Thank you, RDS. Wood, uh, wood turning and acrylics uh, for the great products. And thank you all for watching.